Hi guys, thanks for joining me today. Today I'm going to be planning in my Fobonichi slash Happy Notes. Uh, I'm doing a different layout as you can see. I've changed it up a little bit. I've done a layout like this before but never done a video on it. So I thought I would show you guys how to do a different style layout. My boxes are 9 across by 24 down and you can fit four on each page. I'm going to be setting it up like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then this will be a little notes and to-dos or important section over here. I'm also going to be using this really pretty darker charcoal and gray theme I picked out. These are all from the original Free Spirit sticker book, but if I grab from another one, I'll show you guys in the video. Uh, so I'm going to outline this and then erase all my pencil marks and then we're going to get started. Plot twist, I changed my theme. I went with this really pretty pastel colors with a mix of, or some slight pops of black. Uh, I have everything outlined and my pencil marks all erased, so we're just gonna get started. I'm gonna start by putting this full box sticker over here on what would be Wednesday, and I'm gonna add this little box. Most of these stickers come from the Happy Quote sticker book, and the boxes come from the pastel sticker rolls. And I have some stickers from the new colorful boxes as well because I love that book. Uh, I'm going to also add this full box on what would be Friday. I'm taking my pen and kind of outlining the side of the sticker just a little bit so my box doesn't get lost. I still want that very sharp definition of the boxes that I've drawn. I'm going to take this black box and layer it on top to kind of add some more of the darker colors in with this. I really like mixing the pastels with the darker colors. That's one of my favorite color combinations ever. All right, so I'm gonna take this box, lots of boxes, <laughs> and I'm gonna outline it just a little bit too. And then I'm going to take this really cute typewriter-esque style quote and layer it on the bottom there. And I'm also gonna take another quote where I'm gonna add lots of quotes. Uh, and I'm gonna put it on top there. Now I'm grabbing this checklist. And I'm going to put it on in my little notes section. I started to outline it, but then I realized I don't know why it was so much larger. So I ended up just getting my X-Acto knife and trimming it down just a little bit so it would fit. I didn't want that overhang there. All right. So I'm looking for this quote. I believe it said, passion changes everything. And it is from the Gold Star Quote sticker book. And I'm going to add it right into my little notes area. I thought the pastel pink color of the letters were really pretty. And it had that black lettering down at the bottom too. So I layered that there. Now I'm going to reach for my handy dandy colorful boxes sticker book. I have used this book so much. Um, I'm just going to be grabbing some of these lined bullet points in this really pretty pastel purple color to bring in some more purple. I'm just going to put two on Monday to give myself some reminders to track some things I have coming in and to write down the progress of if they're going to be in this week or that day or all that type of good stuff. I'm going to grab some bullet points and put on what would be Thursday. I'm going to use those three to mark my Instagram posts for that day. So I'm going to be taking these little word bubbles, speech bubbles, and making them into headers. They are from the new colorful boxes, even though I ripped the sheet out because I'm a monster like that. Um, do you guys ever rip sheets out? Um, I'm going to be using them as headers. I'm going to grab my Joann's Mega Sticker Book, and I'm going to grab a little Today Sticker and put that right in there. I put my Joann's Mega Sticker Book on discs quite a while ago, and I do not recommend it. Don't do it. Or at least not the way I did it. Uh, I'm going to grab some more bullet points and put them on Saturday. Again, just to mark my Instagram posts for that day. Now, I'm going to grab another one of these smaller speech bubbles. And put it on Thursday, just to make another little header. I really wanted to use a different color, but... They were all kind of odd shaped and I thought this these little shapes worked best. So again, I'm just gonna go grab another little header. I think I'm gonna use one that just says important and I'm gonna put it right on top there. Sorry, 
Now I'm just kind of looking at everything. I'm gonna flip through my Joann's Mega Sticker Book, just trying to see if anything catches my eye, pastel-wise, or anything that kind of goes with the color scheme I'm working with. And I found these little stickers that remind me of Lucky Charms. So we're gonna add some rainbows, because why not? Uh, so I'm just gonna add two little rainbows, and that's also gonna bring in some other colors, and I'm going to include those too. I really liked the yellow, so I'm going to go grab a few yellow things from the Colorful Boxes sticker book. That really soft pastel yellow was really, really pretty. So I'm just gonna kinda see where I can put this quarter box, and I'm gonna put it down on Sunday. I'm gonna use that as a header for, or just a little area to write the videos that I need to film that day. I'm gonna remove those bulletin points on Thursday and replace those with some yellow ones, just to, again, just to bring in some more yellow things to make everything feel nice and connected and coordinated. Now I'm just kind of flipping through and seeing if anything catches my eye. I really wanted to use this Hello Beautiful quote in here, but uh, it was getting a little too quotey. I mean, I already have like how many quotes in here? <laughs> so I went back to grab a few of the extra rainbows, but I changed my mind and decided I wanted to use one of these little teal hearts just for another little pop of color from the rainbows, but not too much that it was going to compete with everything. So I just put it down here in the corner. And then I decided I didn't want to use the pink one. <clears throat> Just kind of flipping through, getting a little feel for everything, seeing what else I want to add or if I want to take away anything. Again, I was going to grab another quote, but I changed my mind. So now I'm going to grab my pen and my checklist stencil. And I'm going to create a little lined area in Sunday. Uh, I'm not going to be tracing the check boxes. I'm just tracing the lines. I'm just giving myself a nice little area for writing and for, you know, things I need to do that day. So, again, just tracing the lines, and then I'm going to go back and make sure that they're connected to the sides of my box here. And then I'm going to do the same thing on Tuesday. Again, just tracing the lines, not the check boxes. So just like that, uh, I wanted to add another little speech bubble, but I felt like it was overkill, so I'm going to mess around with that for just a minute, but I'm going to take it off, and that's going to be my Fobonichi spread for this week. As always, picture at the end, and thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys!